Hi guys, Peter Finch here. Welcome down to the second hole here at St. Anne's Old Links. And I've just played my punched shot, which you can see in the last video. And I'm now on my approach shot into this par four green. Now I've hit a decent actual punch shot. I just go to the fairway bunker, slightly lucky to get around it. But now I've got 140 yards left into this pin and I need to decide how I can approach this shot. So what I need to go through within my mind to make sure that this shot is the best that it can be. Now the wind is blowing very strong into my face here and that's obviously going to play a large kind of it's going to have a large impact over the decisions I actually make about this shot. So first of all, what I need to do is assess the dangers, assess the conditions. Now, lie of the ball, that's not a problem. It's lying nicely on this fairway. My approach into this green, I am going to wait till those guys get off it, by the way. But I approach into this green. The flag is on the left-hand side of the green. And on the left-hand side of the green, there is quite a deep, pot bunker. So my decision here is whether to really kind of go for this pin, whether to play safe and go slightly off to the right hand side, to try and fade it in, to try and draw it in. What do I need to do to give the best outcome? Now, because of the great first hole that I had in the first two videos, I'm already torn the par. So I can maybe be a little bit more cautious about this. However, I feel I am swinging it well. Do I trust myself to actually hit this shot? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk you through more of a punch drawn shot. So actually shaping the ball back into the wing, because that's the type of shape that I feel quite comfortable using on this hole. My club selection I'm going to be using is a seven iron. Now, from only 140 yards, I know it's into wind, but this should tell you about the length of swing that I'm actually going to be using on this shot. Now, to hit a successful punch draw and to kind of make sure that all this work I've done into actually looking where all the hazards are, I need to make sure that my setup is correct, my thought process my thought process is correct and to make sure I'm delivering this club into impact in the best possible way. Now as always the first place to start is to get a target line. Now my target line from the ball down to the flag I'm going to draw it back and I'm just going to pick out a point in front of the ball from my target line. Now to hit a draw I want my ball to start right of this and draw back left into the actual pin. So that means that when I'm getting set up I'm going to make sure that my body and my aim line is on the right hand side of this green because I want to draw it in from that point. With my club face, I need to ensure that my club face is pointing left of my aim line, but is still slightly open to the target. My target here isn't actually a pin, it's about 10 feet to the right of the pin to make sure it's more in towards the middle of the green. So I'm going to get set up. I'm going to pick out my target line first of all, and then I'm going to pick out my aim line where I want the ball to start and draw back in from. I'm going to aim my club in between that point. And because I want to play the punch shot, I'm going to play the ball a little bit further back in my stance than normal. So a 7 eye is normally just front of centre, and I'm going to move this back of centre. I'm going to lean about 60% of weight onto my front foot. I'm going to grip slightly down the shaft here and lean my hands ahead of the ball like this. So that's the setup I'm going to use. Now I'm going to go through the whole process. So visualising the shot, starting to the right and then drawing back in. I know where my target line is, so I'm going to pick out my aim line. I'm going to get in that punch setup. Weight forward, club face nicely set, deep breath and then let this shot go. Set off just where I want to. It's not quite drawing in. Not bad though. Kind of middle front of the green. I just didn't quite get enough power on there. Maybe a slightly short swing. However, let's get up to the green. Right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope you're enjoying this style of video as well. Let me know what you think. We'll get up to the green and see if we can improve on the score already.